graphical representation graphical representation of variation graphical representation of variation of acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity with uh, the distance with the distance from center of earth with the distance from center of earth from center of earth in diagram this is earth and we can denote the distance of a certain point a is a point on earth surface b is a point at a depth d inside earth uh, surface and d d is a point at altitude h above earth surface so acceleration due to gravity at the point a on earth surface which is small g acts radially inwards towards center of earth and uh, depth of the point b is d below earth surface depth of the point b is small d below earth surface this is a radius of earth capital r is the radius of earth and we can denote the altitude of the point d above earth surface h is the altitude and acceleration due to gravity at the point d at altitude h is g prime which acts radially inwards and acceleration due to gravity at the point b below earth surface at a depth d is g double prime g double prime is acceleration due to gravity at the point b at a depth d now at the point d at the point d at altitude h at altitude h acceleration due to gravity is given by g prime equal g r square divided by r plus h whole square equal g capital r square divided by small r square where small r is the distance of the point d from the center o therefore g prime equal uh, g prime proportional 1 by r square now we can denote the distance of the point d from center o of earth that is small r equal r plus h small r equal r plus h is the distance of the point d from the center o of earth similarly distance of the point b from center of earth is r prime which is r minus d here g prime is proportional to 1 by r square similarly at the point b at the point b at a depth d below earth surface at a depth d below earth surface acceleration due to gravity is g double prime equal g r minus d divided by r equal g r prime divided by capital r therefore g double prime is directly proportional to r prime that means acceleration due to gravity is directly proportional to distance from center of earth but above the earth surface acceleration due to gravity is inversely proportional to square of distance now this is acceleration due to gravity axis vertical axis and here this is horizontal axis is the distance of the point from center of earth o is uh, the center of earth so this is acceleration due to gravity axis or uh, in this direction acceleration due to gravity is plotted and uh, in horizontal direction the distance of a certain point from center of earth is plotted now we can denote uh, the point a on earth surface on this axis in this way so we can draw this graph below earth uh, below the imaginary sphere which is earth we can draw two imaginary uh, straight line in this way now up to the point a acceleration due to gravity up to the point a acceleration due to gravity increases following the straight line beyond the point a beyond the point a and at o r equal 0 at a r equal capital r radius of earth now beyond the point a and uh, we know that at the point c g equal to g which is maximum and beyond the point c acceleration due to gravity decreases following this curve we can uh, and uh, this is the point c beyond the point c acceleration due to gravity for decreases following this mathematical relation g proportional 1 by r square 
that's why acceleration due to gravity decreases beyond the point A and from O to C acceleration due to gravity increases following this mathematical relation G proportional R prime. That means from O to C acceleration due to gravity increases linearly and beyond the point C or beyond the point A above our surface acceleration due to gravity decreases. That means G decreases if we move upwards. G decreases if we move upwards and G also decreases linearly below our surface. G decreases linearly below our surface from A to O or that means from C to O. So this is uh, the graph of acceleration due to gravity with distance at the point D at altitude H. Acceleration due to gravity is inversely proportional to square of distance. That's why G decreases following that car when uh, below our surface acceleration due to gravity decreases linearly from the point C to O means from our surface to center of earth. Now we can draw the diagram of uh, earth again uh, A is a point on earth surface and G decreases above earth surface with altitude or with H and if uh, and if we move from the point A from earth surface to center of earth G again decreases following A uh, following the straight line CO and at the center O acceleration due to gravity is 0 G equals 0 small g equals 0 at the center O now at the point A acceleration due to gravity is G equals G which is maximum 9.8 meter per second square at the point A means at the point C on the graph G equals G which is maximum So this is the graph uh, of acceleration due to gravity with the distance. So we can draw only this graph also. This is the graphical representation of acceleration due to gravity with the distance from center of earth.